Today is Tuesday, 5th of October 2021, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is Powered by the Holy Ghost. Our opening text is taken from Zechariah 4, verse 6, and it says, Then he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. You have what it takes to win, irrespective of the adversities you may face in life, Pastor begins. If you have found yourself in a precarious situation, be comforted. There's someone living inside you who is greater and stronger than Satan, the world, and all the troubles, elements, and circumstances of this world, the Holy Spirit. You are, you are powered by the Holy Spirit. Praise God. No wonder John said, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, as we find in 1 John 4, verse 4. Pastor says, Become ever more conscious of the Spirit, His power, glory, and ministry in your life. Even in prayer, you must rely on Him to pray effectively. Some people pray, but nothing happens because they speak words that aren't powered, communicated, or inspired by the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is a missing element in many people's lives. It explains why they live as victims, whereas God has made them victors. Oh, in Ephesians 5, 18-19, the Apostle Paul tells us, And be not drunk with wine, wherein in excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Being filled with the Spirit is the answer, Pastor says. When you are filled with the Spirit, you'll bring the supernatural power of God to bear on your words and all you do. Glory to God. The Holy Spirit makes the difference. He's the power of God and He lives in you in His fullness, in His entire glory and might. How then could your life be ordinary? In the book of Acts, the apostles understood this and ministered always in and by the power of the Spirit. Oftentimes, they were described as men full of the Holy Ghost. For example, Stephen in Acts 6 verse 5. Then he says in verse 8, And Stephen full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Wonders and miracles among the people. Our pastor says, the same can and should be said of you. You are full of the Holy Ghost and power because Acts 1.8 says, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. You can have extraordinary results in your life and ministry because you are powered by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take a prayer now from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, Dear Father, I thank you for your love in sending the Holy Spirit to live in me. Now, I'm filled with might, able to do all things and bring you glory. I'm empowered by the Holy Spirit to do great wonders and miracles, to effect positive changes in my health, family, ministry, finances, job, and in my world. In Jesus' name, Amen. Praise God. Okay, for further study, please read Luke 24 verse 49. Acts 1 8 and Ephesians 5 18 to 19 of the Amplifier Classic. Yes, we are powered by the Holy Ghost who proceeds from the Father. And so we bring the supernatural power of God to bear on our words and in every situation in our lives. Results extraordinary. Oh, yes, for He is a greater one in us. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received 
Christ into your heart. If you've never experienced Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe he died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead. And he's alive today. I confess with my mouth. Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. That, that prayer along with Pastor Chris. Congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.